In today's show, we're going to look at how to turn a list of names, maybe someone emailed you, into actual items in a table that you can use inside of Power Apps. It's a weird little skill, but I promise I get a lot of emails where this is a super helpful thing. So we're going to actually use Excel, which is really weird. So I don't know if nothing else, watch this be an interesting one. But first, here's our intro. Hi, my name is Shane Young with Power Apps 911. Those guys. And today, we're gonna to talk about converting data a little bit. So one of the things that happens a lot of my client projects is like, all right, we have a drop down to list all these things, right? So here's all the different statuses you might have, or here's all the different departments or whatever. And it's a pretty static list, so they don't wanna go maintain it in a data source, but they still send me an email that looks, you know, just like a list of stuff, right? Which you're like, oh, that's really handy. But the problem is, is that I, you know, to use that in my Power App, I gotta go and put quotes around everything and commas around everything. And if it's like three things, who cares? But one customer sent me one, there was like a hundred. And I'm like, OMG, OMG, OMG. What am I gonna do? So I decided to bust over my Excel skills and solve the problem. So I thought this was a perfect little, quick little tip to share with you guys to show you how I do this. Maybe you learned something. Maybe you won't. Either way, it made my life better, so I'll make sure. So let's switch over to my desktop and see it. Okay, so over here on my desktop, I get emails like this. So you can see that Chewy sent me a bunch of puppy names. I'm not gonna ask questions about that. But Chewy's like, hey, here's all the choices I want in my app. And so it is, it's a list, but you notice that it's not really a list, right? So immediately I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, cause now we know that over in Power Apps, let's switch over to Power Apps for a second. What we would have to do is we'd insert a drop down, and then we know that one of the ways that we can give it a table of data is a square bracket and then be like, you know, one, two, and then three. And so then that's the format that we would need that that would then let us have the choices, right? So this is how you make an ad hoc table and just makes a single column table with a value field, right? We've done that before. So how do I quickly get this in the case of Chewy where he's got like a hundred names here? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go back to this email that Chewy sent, I'm gonna shake my fists, and once again, we're not asking why Chewy is sending me puppy names and signing it Chewy and Adeline. I'm not gonna ask about that. I'm gonna say Control C, we're gonna go over here to Excel. And so what you're gonna do is we're gonna paste it in Excel, and then, cause you know me, I like things in alphabetical order, so I'm gonna say sort and filter, sort A to Z, perfect, right? So there's all the names. So then what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? Well, we're gonna write a formula, of course, but all your Power App skills are gonna kind of translate. So we're gonna just say equals. And so the first thing we need is a double quote, which is the hardest part to get. And so the way that you represent a double quote is with two double quotes back to back, right? But when you're, just like in Power Apps, if you want to use a double quote, the, uh, you know, or if you wanna have a string, you have to have that represented in double quotes. So what we're gonna do is we need four quotes, one, two, three, four, like that. And then we're gonna say an ampersand, so just like Power Apps, right, that's how you concatenate. Oh, I did not mean to do whatever I did there. We're gonna say, I wanna add in A1, right? That's the field that we wanna pull over. Then we're gonna do another ampersand. And then we're gonna do four quotes again. And let's hit enter, and look at that. That looks a lot like what we'd expect, Abby. Now, looking at that, I'm like, all right, well, I wonder, does Abby have, oh, Abby's name has an extra space in it, how rude. So that's why that came through. So then now we need that comma at the end as well. So I'm gonna put a comma right there. And by putting a comma there, that gives us the format we want. Perfect. So then now if I double click right here, boom, boom, that pulls in everyone's um, name. Now you notice they've all got that space at the end though. So we're gonna have to do something to get rid of that. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna write another formula, right? Cause that's what we do here. And what formula is that? All right, dramatic pause because I didn't know what to do. Maybe. No. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have this happen during testing. That's all right. So what happened here was that these are actually not spaces at the end. <laughs> they are non-breaking carriage return, body, body, body. So anyway, what I had to do is to get rid of all those spaces in a formula, because I don't want to go edit everything manually, is we're going to use the substitute formula. We're going to substitute A1, and then we're going to say, I want to substitute for character 160, right? I had this problem with one of my power apps one time too. It drove me bonkers. And we're just going to uh, fill in there a whole bunch of blank. 
And so then now if we take that formula, so substitute A1, character 160, that. Now we'll do this. And if we hit the double click here, voila, we have all the names. Yay! So now that they're all set, I'm going to say Control C. I'm going to minimize Excel by Excel, minimize Chewy's weird email. And so then we'll go back over here and I'm going to do square bracket, paste, and then square bracket. Oh, square brackets, this one. There you go. And then you probably can see right there if you peek. Oh, I got an extra comma. I don't want any weirdness, so I'll get rid of that. But then now if we hit play, there are all the names. So there you go. Not a super like common question, but this is one of those things you throw in your tool bag. It's going to save you half an hour of manual data entry at some point. So so hopefully you liked it. I, you know, not usually one to do Excel videos, but eh, why not? Um, if you have any questions, comments, ideas for future videos, leave them in the comments below. Remember, I always read all of them. I respond to all of them, even though sometimes I'm a little behind, though I'm pretty caught up today, so I feel good. All right? And with that, I'm going to say thanks and have a great day. Before you go, be sure to click on the subscribe button over here so that way you'll be notified when new videos come out. If you need any help or you want to work together, whether your problem is big or small, check us out at Power Apps 911. We do it all. I rhymed. Or if you're looking for more formal training offerings, we have those linked up here somewhere. So check them out. Thanks and have a great day.